Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how you can use Passport with Bitcoin Keeper in a multi-signature setup. Bitcoin Keeper is a mobile wallet software that can be downloaded from the Google Play and iOS app stores. Keeper supports all major hardware wallets and offers intuitive DIY, single and multi-signature wallet coordination. Keeper also supports single signature hot wallet functionality and own node connections. At the end of this video, You'll know how to connect Passport with Keeper to act as one of the three keys in a two of three multi-signature setup. Keeper calls this the HODLer setup. Once set up, you'll then learn how to import the multi-signature coordination information to Passport to enable secure receive and change address verification. After that, we'll look at how to receive a transaction via Keeper directly into your new multi-signature wallet. And finally, I'll then demonstrate how to sign a transaction with the minimum required two keys. Passport, of course, being one of these. In this setup, Keeper connects to the blockchain to monitor the wallet addresses to show you your Bitcoin balance. And Keeper can also construct spend transactions for Passport and the other keys in the multisig quorum to authorize. As always, one of the three all important private keys remain firmly on your Passport, your secure and offline device, with the other two keys being managed by whichever apps or hardware wallets you choose to use to set up your multi-signature wallet. For the purpose of this video and to complete the multi-signature setup, I'll be using a second passport with a different seed as the second key. The third key will be held within the Keeper app itself. You can of course use any combination of other compatible devices or apps as you'd like to construct your personal setup. This video assumes you've already got your passport and other hardware devices initiated. So if you haven't already done that, head back to our setup guide to learn how to do that for passport. And for other devices, please refer to the manufacturer's guidance on setting those up. Once you have Keeper downloaded and installed to your phone, the first thing you'll see is the passcode screen where Keeper will ask you to create a passcode for your application. Then we'll be met with the opening screen where we have a choice to start a new wallet in a vault or we can recover an existing one if we've previously used the Keeper app. I'm going to press Start New. And then Keeper drops us into the home screen. So starting from the bottom, we can see that we've already got one linked wallet. So if I tap on that, Keeper has automatically generated us a single signature hot wallet. And this can be used in the same way as any traditional hot wallet on any other mobile application where you can send and receive Bitcoin, where the keys are owned by the app itself. To receive Bitcoin, simply tap receive and you can share that address with any other wallet that you want to send from. And to send, you can just tap send from the bottom corner there. To back up your wallet master seed from the main screen, tap the cog in the top right corner then choose app backup and then choose export app individual phrase. You'll then see a list of 12 words and tapping on each number in turn will show the words so that you can write them down and store them in your safe and secure location. And you'll then be required to re-enter a couple of those words to test that you have written down your backup words correctly. Keeper also allows you to add multiple hot wallets. Simply slide across the green card and tap add new wallet. If I tap on the word pleb at the top, here we have a summary of the different plans that Keeper offers. So the default is pleb, where you automatically get a single signature hot wallet generated for you. And you have the opportunity to add a single air gap signing device, such as a passport, to be able to manage that in a single signature fashion. If we move across to the HODLer plan, you can see that you get all of the features of the PLEB tier, but you also have the opportunity to add further two signing devices so that you can create a two of three multi-sig vault 
which is what I'm going to be demonstrating in the rest of this video. Finally, you have the Diamond Hands plan, which has all of the features of the Hodler tier, but also the ability to add another two signing devices, totaling five, so that you can create a three of five multi-signature vault. So I'm going to tap on Hodler and then tap Upgrade. And Keep is now asking us to start adding our signing devices, otherwise known as hardware wallets. So I'm going to tap on Add First Signing Device. Keeper's going to give us a bit of information. And then we're met with the list of compatible devices. As you can see, there's lots to choose from. And you can also add mobile keys as well, which I'll be doing later on in the setup. But for now, I'm going to choose Foundation. And then Handily Keeper gives you some instructions on what you need to do on Passport to generate the relevant information required. So if I tap Proceed, that's going to open the camera on my phone. And then over on Passport, I need to head down to Manage Account, Connect Wallet, choose Keeper, Multisig, and QR codes. And Passport then says, next, scan the QR code on the following screen into Keeper. So Passport's now showing its own animated QR codes, which I can then scan with my phone to import the relevant information. There we go, that's our first device added. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat those steps for the second Passport device that I'm going to add. But obviously, if you're choosing to use a different device, then you would choose that from the compatible list. And then finally, we're asked to add our third signing device, which for my demonstration setup is going to be the hot wallet that I showed you earlier. So I can scroll down and choose mobile key where the hot keys are on this device, my phone. Keeper says to secure this key, you need the recovery phrase of the wallet backed up, which I showed you how to access earlier. And it says this key is available for signing transactions if you confirm your passcode or biometrics. So if I tap proceed, Keeper's going to ask for my PIN code, and then I can tap Confirm. And there we go, we have the three devices or keys required for our two of three multi-signature setup. So all that's left to do now is tap Create Vault. And we now have our new vault created. So we have one passport, a second passport, and a mobile key. And to spend any Bitcoin from this vault, we need signatures from any two of those keys. So you'll see next to each passport, it says not registered. So what we need to do is tap on each of those devices in turn, choose advanced options, and then manual registration. Keeper is then showing a series of animated QR codes that represent the multi-sig configuration file that is used to notify each of our signing devices about the multi-sig quorum that it is a part of. And once we've done this, this is the step that enables uh, Passport to be able to securely verify change and receive addresses as well as securely sign transactions in the future. So as you'll see over on Passport, it says next, import the multi-sig configuration from Keeper via QR code. And that will open the device's camera. And I'm just gonna scan the QR codes being displayed by Keeper. Passport will then give us a summary of the information that is just read, which you can scan through to confirm. And this contains all of the public key information from each of the signing devices. And then it'll save the configuration. Passport then says, next, let's check that the wallet connected correctly. On the next page, scan a receive address from Keeper. So over on Keeper, I'm going to tap done. Head back to the main vault screen. And then I'm going to tap receive. And there we have our first receive address for our multi-sig vault. 
So over on Passport, I'm just going to scan that QR code. And then Passport's going to have a brief search from its own internal address list of this multi-signature wallet to confirm that Keeper is displaying an address that does actually belong to this multi-signature vault. And this confirms that everything has been set up correctly. There we go, we can see that we have a green check mark over on Passport and we have successfully verified the address and that the connection is complete. So next up, I'm gonna repeat the configuration import to the second Passport. If you're using a different device that allows for the import of the multi-sig configuration file, then you could follow the steps required there as well. have an address verified on the second device. So our setup is complete and we are good to go. To receive Bitcoin into your multi-sig vault is as simple as tapping receive from the main vault screen and then sharing the address or QR code with the wallet that you want to send from. You do also have the option to tap enter amount which can encode a request amount within the QR code as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send some Bitcoin into this vault from one of my other wallets. And once that is confirmed, we'll resume the video and I'll show you how to make a spend transaction. Okay, so a short time has now passed and the transaction I've sent into my vault has just confirmed. So we are ready to demonstrate a spend transaction. So just as a reminder, the wallet consists of three keys. And in this setup, we need two of them to sign off on any transaction for it to be valid. So let's look at how we can do that. So the first step is to tap send. And then we can scan a Bitcoin address. The keeper then asks us to enter the amount that we would want to send, which can be typed in manually. Or you can send the entire balance of the vault as well, should you want to do that, which is what I'm going to do for the purposes of this video. I can also add a note to the transaction just so that I know the purpose of it, which can be useful for future accounting and wallet management purposes. Then I'm going to tap send. Keeper then gives us the opportunity to choose our transaction priority. That can range between low, medium and high. As this is a demonstration, I'm going to leave that on low and then I'm going to tap proceed. So we now have our three keys listed and as you can see at the top, Keeper says choose any two to sign the transaction. So I'm going to choose my first passport. Keeper then says get passport ready. On the Passport main menu, choose the sign with QR code option. So I'm going to tap proceed. Keeper is now showing a series of animated QR codes, which represents the unsigned version of the Bitcoin transaction that we're attempted to spend. So what we need to do is pass this information over to Passport. And to do that, over on Passport, we tap sign with QR code. And then scan the QR codes being displayed by Keeper. Passport's then going to show us the amount being sent and the destination address. The change amount, if any, but if you can remember, I'm sending the entire vault balance, so there is no change in this instance. Then it's going to show us the network fee. And finally, it will ask us if we're happy to sign the transaction. Passport's then going to show its own series of animated QR codes, which represents the partially signed version of this multi-sig transaction. Don't forget we need two signatures for it to be valid. So over on Keeper, I can then choose Scan PSBT. That's gonna open my phone's camera and I can scan the QR codes being displayed by Passport. We've now got a green check mark next to the first Passport, indicating that we've got one signature out of the two required. 
So the next step is to choose the second signing method. So my options are the other passport or the mobile key that's held on the Keeper application on my phone. So I'm gonna to choose to sign with my second passport. So we're just gonna repeat the steps I've just made, but with the second device. Okay, there we go. We've now got two green check marks, which indicates that we've got the correct amount of signatures required for this transaction. And as you can see, we now have the option to broadcast at the bottom. So I'm just going to tap that. And there we go. We have successfully signed and broadcast the transaction to the Bitcoin network and the recipient will receive their Bitcoin once that confirms onto the Bitcoin blockchain. So we just want to share two final pieces of information before we wrap this video up. Uh, the first among which is a reminder of the verify address feature on Passport that can be used at any time. And this can be useful when receiving into your secure vault. You can use Passport, your secure and offline device, to verify the address is being displayed by your Keeper application. To do that, all you need to do is tap receive. Keeper will surface the next available receive address for your vault. And then over on Passport, head down to verify address choose Keeper Vault and then scan the QR code being displayed by Keeper and then look for the green check mark on Passport. You can use that as your confirmation that the address being displayed by Keeper is correct so that you can send the Bitcoin securely into your vault. The other piece of information is around backups. So with this multi-signature setup, we have two hardware devices, both passports and a mobile key. Each of those three keys have their own seed backup which should be backed up in the usual fashion by either writing down the seed words, stamping them into steel, or creating encrypted backups if your hardware wallet allows for it like Passport does. But in the scenario where you were to lose access to one of those seed backups and its corresponding hardware wallet if applicable, then there's an extra piece of information required to be able to restore your vault with the remaining two keys. I'm gonna show you how you can access that via Keeper. Within the vault, head to settings, choose generate descriptors and that'll show you the descriptor which is a collection of all of the public information required to reconstruct this bitcoin vault this information has no ability to spend it's just to be able to construct the wallet itself but you'd still need two of the seeds or hardware wallets to be able to sign transactions so you can save this descriptor somewhere secure that could be offline on an sd card or a thumb drive or you may choose to keep that in a secure cloud option or password manager so you can either copy and paste that or tap the share button and then send that to the relevant application or storage method that's inserted into your phone. 